Today I received a mystery package from a friend of mine. What's up guys, we are back with another mystery box opening, which as you can tell, I've uh, re I've already opened it because I actually bought our Pharaoh Servant box that we did a box break for recently from a friend of mine, and he decided to send more things that we could open up on the channel. And that person is the Uber Trading, which if you haven't heard of him, he's a whatnot streamer, he uh, has been in a few vlogs, he's like there with us at Collecticon and stuff like that, and he's actually started his own YouTube channel, so I'm gonna have that link down below so you guys can go check him out if you guys want to. He's done some pretty cool openings so far, he's opened some like video games and stuff like that. Let's see what he sent us. By the way, my voice is a little bit gone, so bear with me. All right, so speaking of video games, I think this is the giveaway to start. So let's start it off right here. We got some bubble wrap that I can reuse. All right, giveaway. This is a brand new copy of the Dawn of Destiny on Xbox. I actually opened this game myself when I was still sealed and showcased the contest on YouTube. This is what I was talking about. If you want to check out my channel, I'll open lots of other cool old items like this. I am the Uber trading on YouTube. P.S. Go follow Rux on whatnot. You need to do that because we have some amazing whatnot streams coming up soon with some exclusive cool stuff coming out to whatnot maybe a new mat because you know i mean if you've already seen the pecanio moth mat pretty amazing but release number two is coming on whatnot plus we're doing a 250k special stream for youtube on whatnot so we're going to celebrate on whatnot for the youtube special very exciting so go follow me there go follow uber trading on youtube go check out his channel and here's the giveaway we're giving away dawn of destiny so here is the i don't know why this is not in the box the Dawn of Destiny little guide here, which is really amazing to see. This is nostalgic for a lot of you guys. Did he send us the promos? Surely not, right? He'd be a madman. Okay, wait, there was two of these. I don't know why he has two of these, but they have a misprint opening. You'll have to go check out the video and see. Very cool Dawn of Destiny. So if you do want to actually play the old school Xbox game, let's check out the disc. How's the disc condition looking? Man, that thing is brand new. That thing looks incredible. RIP to when we needed to use discs for everything. That was fun. I mean, that was good times. I'm going to throw this in here. Wait, that doesn't even fit. You're going to have to leave it out. So you're going to get double of the the little guide that's pretty awesome just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what do you think about this mystery box i know a couple of the items it's gonna be pretty fun all right right off the bat we have not one but two the lost millennium special edition so yeah we're looking at old school today i mean this is technically gx but it's a, literally the first ever gx set i mean obviously we're not counting you know flaming eternity so those are not gx sets okay all right let's open these up because this could have the flame wingman ancient year golem a lot of really crazy stuff can I cut this thing open? I want to keep it kind of nice, you know? Kind of nice. You don't want to destroy it too much. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the 250K special. I think it just ended recently, but as I mentioned earlier, we are going to have a 250K special on whatnot as well, so it's not completely over yet. Plus, you can still get your 250K celebration mat, the Bacanio Moth, which as you can see right here, Hopefully you guys liked it. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of how it came out. Shout out to Kraus Arts for doing the uh, the artwork. It came out of my brain, but he made it look good, you know? Because <laughs> I was like, look, I, I mean, I can draw a little bit, but not good enough to like actually make a real product and make it look good. So he did a great job. Invader of Darkness, that is not the one we're looking for. We could have gotten <laughs> the Chaos Emperor Dragon, but maybe next time, Invader of Darkness. Wrong IOC secret rare right there. All right, here we go. The Lost millennium it's been a while since i've recorded an opening because my voice has been messed up for like three days and i've been trying to ride it out but it's getting it's like i gotta record more videos we're, we're running out of days so we gotta keep this streak alive so let's see if we can pull something crazy where i can't speak that'll be kind of interesting okay king of skull servants mind golem Asa, rux and special burst into tricks not bad minefield eruption the death wombat Clay man, a couple elemental heroes. Let's get another one. Ancient gear beast. Okay. I think these are retail packs, but I'm not 100% sure out of these. All right, pack number two. This is going to be a fun old school mystery box, guys, because the next item, well, it might not be. We might save that one because there is a pretty big item in here. This is not wanting to rip open. These packs out of special editions tend to be really hard to keep nice. They're like really stuck together a lot of the time. Four from the back. Give us an ultimate rare. We have White Ninja, Grave Lure, Win the Winchy, Charmer, not Channeler. That's later. We have Impenetrable Formation. Minefield. We got Sparkman. We have all of them except for Avian so far. Rock Bombardment. Can we get an ulti? Hero Signal. That would have been a nice ulti. That would have been a nice ulti, but not this time. Third pack. Bring us luck. Great Pecanio Moth. Bring us luck. And look, guys, I know. Look, I know I said we'd have Magia until we pull Magia. Don't you worry, guys. It's down there. It's down there. Don't worry. It's, it hasn't been moved. It's still available. It's un, it, like, I think the Pecanio Moth needs to bring us a little luck along with the major you know what i mean it's like we're double matting it up okay double matting it up let's see if that'll work one two three four can we get something we're over two so far medusa worm double attack white ninja miss polymerization ancient gear ancient gear soldier elemental hero spark man batterman charger rock bombardment 
and legendary black belt. So we are starting over. Okay, here we go. Keep it going. By the way, if you do want your mat, uh, Pequeno Moth mat, they will be available to the end of the month on Ruxin34.com. I also have a bunch of other cool stuff that may or may not relate to something we get later in this video out of this mystery box. So we're gonna be opening up some cool stuff into Anubis. Unfortunately, there are four of them in here. So that means it is only 25% chance to get the uh, Chaos Ember Dragon, which is a little unfortunate, but maybe next time we'll get lucky. Lost Millennium. And of Anubis, that is an Ancient Sanctuary secret room. So they did both the secrets out of Ancient Sanctuary and IOC as the promos in here. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's see if we can pull something big. Great Pequeno Moth, hear my cry. Bless us with something great from the sky. And I'm not talking about the moth this time. I'm not talking about the Grande Moth. I'm talking about an ultimate rare. Level Conversion Lab. Burst Stinatrix, Doriato's Blessing, or Area the Water Charmer, and the Ultimate Insect Level 7, Great Moth, Ultimate Insect Level 7. It fits in perfectly. It's so beautiful. Okay, it fits the theme. I mean, we should have known that was coming to have an insect right there. We should have known. Okay, we've gotten a foil. Let's see if we can go two for two on this one. King the Skull Servants, Impenetrable Formation, Mind Golem. Win the Wind Charmer, Hita, the Fire Charmer, Level Conversion Lab, Clay Man, still no Avian yet, Area, and Grave, Oha, so that was like three Charmers in one pack, leaving us with one final pack, or one for five so far. Not a great start, not a great start. Also, I do want to mention, uh, this Tuesday we're going to be opening up Shadow Infinity live on YouTube for a box break. I usually don't mention them in videos because I forget to do it, you know, I, don't, I never mention it. But this Tuesday, we're going to be live on YouTube at 5 p.m. Central, so I want to see you guys there for the Shadow Infinity. Sacred Beast Ultimate Rare, maybe. It could happen. Never pulled Uriah yet, so it could happen. Shifting Shadows. Battery Man Double A. Let's go two for six right here. Let's get something. Let's get an ulti. We have Clay Man. Let's get an Avian as well. There we go. All four elemental heroes, the basic ones. Let's get something big. Rock Bombardment. So no ultis in that time. That's okay. Let's sleep up our ultimate level seven. All right. There are two more items. I don't know what this one is, so we're gonna open this one and then we'll save the last one, which I do know and is pretty amazing for the end. Oh, this is more than one item. This is a group of items. All right, Uber Trading, I see you. I see you with some clutch stuff right here. All right, let's see what he got. Oh, first edition for Ronnie Guardian. Unlimited Legacy of Darkness. Unlimited Legacy of Darkness. We got a few of these, it seems. Unlimited Labyrinth of Nightmare and Unlimited Labyrinth of Nightmare. Pretty amazing. So we have one first dead pack and then a bunch of original old school packs. So whew, this is going to be fun. I love opening blisters. I hate it and love it because it's painful, but you, I mean, you have a pretty good feeling. It's like, you know, they're on weight. So it's like, I could get something amazing. All right, because we have the most Legacy of Darkness, we're going to open these up. What do we want to pull? It will be Injection Fairy Lily from a blister. So we can go ahead and hope for that. Go ahead and hope for that in the comments, guys. Okay, these, this one's not opening super well. That means it's super sealed because it's got something inside it's got something inside and it is called the injection fairy lily let's inject the awesomeness into our veins okay you probably didn't know where i was going with that did you okay four from the back we have the life absorbing machine gradius option the illusory gentleman i've seen so many of these old school cards recently we did labyrinth the night or we did like a save dark and labyrinth the nightmare we did the original sets with rhyme style recently go check out that video if you haven't seen it and did a duel it was fun. I want to do more old school stuff like that. Stamina destruction. Let me know in the comments what other ones we should do for the duels in the future. And Araiu Senshi starting it off with a foil. And Araiu Senshi is a good one. It's actually a pretty solid goat card. If you can get it out there with Metamorphosis, pretty decent effect, you know? Negate the effect of a trap card by paying a thousand. I mean, that's no big deal. And also negates the effect of magic cards that target the card. So it's got two effects. They're both pretty strong. Okay, let's do two of these in a row. We'll have two, two, and one left. We'll do Labyrinth of Nightmare after this. I do love Labyrinth of Nightmare. This one is, these are really like bendy. They don't want to. They do not want to be ripped. They're like, look, we have foils inside. We must stay sealed. The seal of Orichalcos. Okay, send us a little luck. Pequeno Moth. Can we do it? Can we pull something incredible? One, two, three, four. Can we get that injection, Fairy Lily? Compul convulsion of Nature, not Compulse. Convulsion of Nature. Everybody flip their cards upside down. That's a very funny anime kind of card. Sprite. Dragon's Gunfire. Giant Dragon. Troop Dragon. Fengxing Mirror. Patrician of Darkness. A Faint Plan. And, oh, another fusion, a Fiend Skull. We're getting all the extra deck cards. This one's pretty nice because it negates all flip effect monsters. Uh, though it doesn't even have to pay for that. And negate the effects of trap cards. That 
specifically target it. So that's really good in GOAT because, you know, flip effects are very prevalent in GOAT format. And, you know, wield GOAT, guys. Go check it out. We've been playing a ton of GOAT format. By the time you see this, we're already on, like, episode... We're coming up with 14. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty wild. That's a lot of episodes that we've had. Pretty exciting that these you guys are enjoying the series, and I've really had a lot of fun playing old, old Yu-Gi-Oh. Laver the Nightmare, can you bless us with a little old Yu-Gi-Oh? I mean, you're, technically every card's old Yu-Gi-Oh, but let's get a little, you know, something classic in here. We're two for two on these blisters, by the way, which is pretty insane. Can we go three for three? We have Lightning Conger. Secret rare out of here would be the Magic Cylinder, which would be pretty sick. Dancing Fairy, we have Worm Drake. Amazon Archer. Melk at the Four-Faced Beast. Boneheimer. Uh-oh. This monster wanders the sea, sucking dry any creatures it may encounter. That's real flavor text, ladies and gentlemen. You gotta watch out. Unfriendly Amazon, swordsman of Landstar, amateur with a sword. This fairy relies, fairy warrior relies on its mysterious powers. And it's a trap. Could it be the magic cylinder? Ooh, the Ryoku Field, which I have used twice against Rhyme Style. Somehow, this card has actually come up. It's been resolved, and it has actually mattered in our duels, which is pretty wild that Ryoku Field's getting used. One more LD, and then we'll open the last three, and guess what? This isn't the end. There's more old school coming up. So if you like old school Yu-Gi-Oh, stick around, guys. We've had a lot of longer videos recently, so this honestly might not even be that long. I used to say a 20-minute video was long. We posted like two hour, hour and a half plus videos last week. Maybe even three. I haven't seen how long auction series is yet, but oh man, yeah, we've had some really long ones. We are three for three on these blisters, by the way. 107 weapons, Gradius. Puppet Magic Dark Ruler, Grey Wing, Fang Shing Mirror, Patrician of Darkness, A Faint Plan. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. And a Blast with Chain, our first non-foil of the opening. Pretty amazing. Let's do the Pharaonic Guardian now, because we haven't opened any of this yet. First edition. The secret rare would be Lava Golem. We have pulled that like three times, which is pretty amazing. Don Zalug is my favorite card in the set. I'd love to pull that. I mean, it's ridiculously good in GOAT, too. Like, if you start ripping cards, it's actually 1,400, so it's not that tiny. It's like, you know, Mystic tomato a bull. You know, you can bring it out Mystic Tomato whenever you want. Creature Swap Mystic Tomato. Attack Mystic Tomato. Bring out your Dawn. Rip a card. It's kind of crazy. Pyro Clock. Different dimension. We have Spyro... Okay, by the way, these cards... It's, it's classic Pharaonic Guardian. It's way bigger. The rare is way bigger than the other cards. Swarm of Locusts, Secret Pass, Gravekeeper's Guard's a great card. Hieroglyph, Hieroglyph Lithograph. Cry you well. And a Dark Designator, and this thing is massive. The card is absolutely massive. Okay, back to when we've hit two duds in a row. We're evening out our odds with how we started. I mean, we started really, really well. Legacy of Darkness, two more packs, and then the final reveal of the final portion, which is gonna be pretty sick. Pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. One, two, three, four, can we go with a fourth foil out of six? Spirit's Invitation, Tornado Wolf, Gradius Option, Bubble Crash, Mysterious Guard, Statement Destruction, Super Robo Yaru, Spring of Rebirth, and Thunder, Nyan, Nyan. What does this have? You have to have like a, a non-light monster on your field. This card's immediately destroyed, so you have to have a light deck. It's 1900 though, which is pretty big for the time. Though uh, Gemini Elf exists in this set, so it's like, hmm, kind of weird. Okay, last pack of the blisters labyrinth of nightmare which is a pretty amazing set i'm not gonna lie i'm a huge labyrinth of nightmare fan gotta be one of my favorites it's definitely grown on me i used to not like it as much and the more i open it the more i'm like yeah this set's pretty sick one two three four we've got the earl of the demise the gentlemanly creature who's extremely wicked feared by man and fiend alike soul of purity and light pretty cool special summon in goat deal phantom the flying fish these wish three wishes are granted those fortunate enough to see this monster in flight i say these every time just change the text gravekeeper gadget soldier fairy guardian offering student pretty good quick play spell and an amphibian b so we went three for three and then went over four but you know three out of seven still pretty good from old school packs and all right it's time for the final reveal from uber trading make sure you guys go check out his youtube channel he's a very nice guy i'm sure his, his channel is going to do well if he stays consistent with it which hopefully he will keep it up uber last item this is one of uber's favorite items in Yu-Gi-Oh. i know that because he was looking for one at collect he ended up picking one up and i think that this is his old one a 2003 buster blader 10. Inside you get one of the first five sets. We get LOB, Metal Raiders, Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Old school, over 20 years old. And FYI, if you guys are like, wow, that's a really cool item. I want one for myself. Hmm, where could you get one of those? How about Ruxin34.com, where I have all of the 2003 10s except Blue Eyes because it's sold out already. So I have Dark Magician, I have Buster Blader, I have, what are the other ones? Gear Freed, XYZ Dragon Cannon, and what's Yugi's other one? No, Buster Blader. No, what's Joey's other one? Jinzo, and I have Jinzo. Those are all available on Ruxin34.com. Go check them out. 
and get yours today because it's a limited time. I have two of each of those. And once they sell out, you know I'm out. So go check it out, ruxin34.com. This was perfect because I had these for sale. He wanted me to open this. It's like, look, I get to open one. I have some for sale for you guys. Let's see if we can pull something great for Uber. Let's pull an amazing car. Let's hope this promo's in great shape. It's 2010, so I doubt it. <laughs> it's one of the absolute, 2002 and 2003 are absolutely brutal in terms of keeping the cards nice. But if you get lucky, they can be worth a lot. Uh, and that one, yep, it does have scuffing on the back. So we're looking for PSA 10, but let's just now look for one that looks good on the front, okay? And this one, a little, maybe a little bend up there, but that's going to look good in the sleeve. That's a beautiful, beautiful secret rare card. Buster Blader, Yugi card, very nice. All right, five packs left in the opening. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the old school opening so far. Don't forget to go check out Uber and thank him for sending us this. We got five packs to be open. Pequeno Moth. Which is your favorite set, Pequeno Moth? I think he's pointing to this one for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, Labyrinth of Nightmare. Let's go. Five packs left in the opening. 2003 Buster Blader 10. Very exciting. This one was a, it was in a little bit beat up condition, so it's perfect for opening. Here we go. One, two, three, four. We've pulled three old school foils so far. You are the chosen one! Talking about Anakin Skywalker. Okay. Gross Ghost. Lady Assailant. Lighting Conger. Dancing Fairy. Worm Drake. We got Amazonus. Amazon Archer. And... Ooh, a bazoo, the soul leader. Speaking of old school, playable goat cards. That's a nice beast. This guy can get up to 2,500 by banishing from the graveyard. That's pretty sick. Off to a great start that we're four out of eight on old school packs, one out of one in this 10. Let's try this next one. Here we go. What shall we pull then? One, two, three, four. This will be, it would be Imperial Order if it's a secret, I think. So Buster Blader would be sick out of a Buster Blader 10. I'm just saying, we'd have the secret, we have the ultra. It'd be amazing. Let's go. Thousand Eyes trick wouldn't be bad either. Twin Head of Fire Dragon, Invitation, so, Spike Bot, I was about to say Super Bot, I was like, that's not his name, Eye of Truth, Regulation of the Tribe, Skull Mariner, and a Nobleman of Crossout, another great go card. Okay, Nobleman of Crossout, really strong because, you know, so many flip effects, you use it on there, you know, Magician of Fate, you banish them all from their deck, gone, not being used anymore in that duel. Pretty amazing, pretty, and it's removal, so really, really good. You don't have to worry about the flip up. Two for two in this 10, five for nine on old school packs. We're kind of crushing it right now. Let's go, one, two, three, four. Magic ruler, it says magic ruler. Pretty crazy, it should say spell though on the cards. Yeah, so spell on the magic cards, but it says MRL, which is unique for the 2003 packs. Red Archery Girl, Malevolent Nuzzler, Minar, Flash Assailant, the Turtle Oath. Twin Long Rods, his Long Rods and his crazy eyes. And Karate Man, our first miss out of the 10. We're five for 10, two for three in the 10. Metal Raiders, can we pull the great Pequeno Moth? First time ever with the Pequeno Mat. I don't know, can we do it? Grande Moth would also like to make an appearance. Or could we pull the Thousand Dragon, Summon Skull, Bee Skull, Solemn Judgment, Barrel Dragon, Change of Heart, Lego, uh, no, I mean, not Lego, Reukish Empowered, Mystic Horseman, Share the Pain. Watch out, it's terrible removal. Rapid Horseman, Pumpkin, the King of Ghosts. Paralyzing Bojan, I had to use this against Rhyme because I was desperate for decent guards. Insect Soldier of the Sky. And a Magician of Faith, speaking of Magician of Faith. We have a lot of goat cards that have been pulled today. Very good card, very nice. This is perfect because Uber didn't know the difference between goat and Edison the other day on Instagram. Oh, uh, he was, he said Transmigration Prophecy. He's like, if you need this for goat, uh, check, check it, check it out or something. If you need it for goat. And I was like, this ain't goat king. I was like, this is definitely uh, from Strike and Eos, which is not in goat. So that was funny. Uh, we have Uma, which look, it's funny that I'm saying that. I didn't know what Goat was, you know, several years ago either. But now I've learned because we play Goat all the time. Actually, I kind of was into Goat for a long time. I wouldn't have known Edison, though. That took me a while to learn. Or man, we have the 13th Grave. Can we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon? Original print. I've done another 2003 before. If you guys remember the every 2003-10 opening. That was pretty cool, huh? That was pretty cool. I mean, that was insane what we pulled. Yumi Rico, Sogan, Mystical Sheep number two, Tripwire Beast, and Dragonus the Wicked Knight with a ding on it. Oh, man. Thank you. That would have kind of sucked if that was a blue eyes. That would have been like as bad as the Dark Magician Girl pull. Either way, though, that was a really sick opening. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Check out Ruxin34.com if you want to grab a 2003 for yourself or a Pequeno Moth Mat before the end of October when they never come back again. So limited release. Go check it out. And of course, don't forget to check out the Uber Trading for sending us such amazing product to open up. Shout out to Tom Fo Show and Nesto Diana, America Doyster, Brandon Cheney, Hextick, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., and Changalang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.